Well, the, the question is, uh, when will they stop aiding and abetting these groups? They're funding them directly through the federal government. And as a matter of fact, I've been researching this. And if we look today, the average militiaman starting wage is over 50% more than an average Iraqi across the country. And of course, they're aiding and abetting these militias through direct payments from the federal Baghdad government, while at the same time, they restrict the funding to Kurdistan, while these particular militia groups backed by Iran, no doubt backed by Iran, are attacking on U.S. bases, but also jeopardizing and harming uh, uh, the, the Kurds, as well as generally the Iraqis, because this is not only happening in Erbil, it's happening across the country, especially at Ain al-Assad base in Al Anbar province, the Sunni province. Now you'll notice these attacks are killing, or excuse me, maiming, including uh, traumatic brain injuries to US service members. And the Baghdad government is directly responsible for this funding. It's because the United States has not acted because the Baghdad government hasn't acted. And it's, it's about time. I've been talking to US con congressional members. We are all fed up, myself included, but also our uh, US Congress, House of Representatives and senators are taking note of the inaction uh, of Baghdad to protect while they're taking note of the Baghdad uh, function and the uh, allowing of this to happen. Well, because the Iraqi government hasn't been given a, a clear uh, message from the United States uh, administration, the Biden administration, and if they were to give them a clear directive that we were not going to put up with it anymore, uh, we would see a change. Not only a change in Baghdad, but a change in Iran. And both of these governments who are responsible uh, need to be held accountable for their actions. Imagine if the United States stood by and watched Baghdad come under attack. I'm sure Baghdad would be reaching out to the United States and asking for our assistance and our uh, military to come to its rescue. We are the guests of the Iraqi government and we demand as American citizens and Congress that if they don't do it and a change of administration occurs, there is going to be hell to pay. This, this has to be the, the major question on the first day of the new year to the Biden administration, a president who's shown weakness at every step along the way. And it seems as though he just does not care about the American soldiers, the American service members who are standing on the front lines, taking these hits from these uh, drones and missiles. And yet there is no doubt that the United States has only given pinpricks against these militias. Well, the main victim are those that are being hit with these rounds, these missiles, these rounds, these uh, drones, as you're showing on your video as we speak. But then in addition to that, the every single Kurd is being harmed. Every single Iraqi is being harmed because it puts a wedge, it divides the United States from Iraq, uh, your chief supporter, your protector, and we uh, really see harm done to 
the culture of the Kurds and the all of the Iraqis, as well as your economy, and obviously your safety and security is directly impacted. Uh, but we have to go and uh, realize that these consequences are not only short-lived, they're long-lived, they have major long-term ramifications, but I would only hope that we see the United States take direct action against those who are the uh, major player, the major advocate for these, which are the Iranians. The Iranian RG, IRGC, their Hezbollah units, they need to be uh, put in their place. And the only way we can do that by is going directly after Iran itself um, and stop uh, beating up the Iran people in the process. Our U.S. media has been very reluctant uh, and absent. They've been reluctant to tell the story. They've been absent on these stories. You only hear little tidbits, and we do not see the major ramifications, not only in Iraq, but also in Syria and the Red Sea, and those attacks directly by Iran into the Indian Ocean against the various uh, merchant vessels that traverse the area where we have major shipping routes through the Suez Canal, through the Gulf of Aden by way of the Red Sea, uh, as well as the Strait of Hormuz, uh, where uh, over 50% of all uh, oil and uh, energy is shipped. We're sorry that, that, you know, on my side, I'm only taking up a small fraction of your screen of this my screen and it's just you've zoomed in on me as opposed to taking a long angle shot